Hey, welcome to Tarmac. Today we're in the lovely sunny Blue Mountains of uh, Australia and it's freezing. So hence the jacket, but we're, uh, we're here to take a look at the uh, new Ford Everest, the seven seater SUV, as you look in all her glory. Many of the changes for this facelift are cosmetic. So the front grille, we've got the um, LED headlights, uh, running lamps. Nice stance across the, the whole range of the car, as you can see. The main difference that I want to bring up is the fact that it now in the power powertrain has got the two litre bi-turbo strapped to the 10 speed gearbox. So we've got the same powertrain that's running in the, the Ranger Raptor and now it's available in this. So what it gives us is more power, more grunt and actually more towing power than the 3.2. We've done a run from the airport up to the Blue Mountains, so we've done a big road test today, and tomorrow we'll be taking it off-road, showing how capable this vehicle is off-road. So let's take a look. With the refreshed and revised Ford um, Everest, Ford have taken the radical step of actually asking the customers what they want. How bizarre. So with the, the one that we're going to be getting in New Zealand is the titanium. So from a power plant point of view, we now have the, uh, the two litre uh, bi-turbo engine that's seen in the Raptor and um, also connected to the 10 speed box, which has actually been, well, we've first seen it in the V8 Mustang. So the combination offers more power. So uh, 157 kilowatt, kilowatts and uh, 500 Newton meters of torque and which in turn gives uh, extra towing power so 3100 kilograms and also efficiency they're saying that the you're actually gonna get an extra 17% fuel efficiency out of a tank so that equates to roughly 200 K's of extra K's out of a tank that's pretty good. So screw you Auckland tax. It's a much more refined drive. They've uh, messed with the suspension. So certainly the stabilizers are a lot more uh, stable. The, from an exterior point of view, new bumpers, new grill, uh, LED running lights, just refresh, refined. A little bit more um, uh, bling around the side, showing off that it's a two litre turbo or bi turbo. Uh, nine, uh, 20 inch, 20 inch alloys, I believe, which is always uh, always good. Um, so, ride height's better, ride feel is better. The refinements continue inside with uh, Sync 3, there's a lot more. Um, a lot more uh, safety, security, it's still ANCAP 5, but there's now autonomous emergency braking. There's just, it's just better. It's a, it's a better all round proposition. New colors, new attitude. This could be really something special. We've taken it from the airport all the way up to the Blue Mountains, and um, from the road drive point of view, it's been remarkable. Quiet, there's loads of MVH that's been deadening any sound from the outside and it's been very secure and safe on the the road uh, feels really really quite planted we're just about to take it off-road <laughs> so the all-terrain system which I do enjoy and I know how well the Everest does perform off-road mm. but we'll be looking to see how well this uh, see if any of the improvements of damage what's going on look I know the answer to that's gonna be a no but let's take a look and see what happens off-road.
made it right up to the top of the Blue Mountains up here. Ah, what a view! <laughs> well that was fun so we've done the on-road and we've done the off-road basically the 2019 um, Ford Everest it's been refined it's been refreshed it's better looking it's got a uh, stronger suspension and just look how capable it is this is quite the beast take it on-road take it off-road this is the one for you Thanks for watching and make sure you subscribe.